audience is people in the audience of an event that's going to be made up completely of Scientologists and his job is to get some fire under their asses so they can jump out and start behaving more like him. And that, that's basically what it is. So that's, that's not, that is in their universe. You could show that, 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 I mean, I think that's an unedited tape, but, you know, that's basically him. I mean, I've been around the guy. I've been, you know, I twinned on him in some courses. Shit, he and I was, I was getting auditing from Marty Rathbun. We were on turnabout for a month and a half. It was like Tom would go in, then I'd go in. Tom would go in, I'd go in. I, so, I mean, I spent a, a little bit of time with him. And uh, that's him. You know, he's a very fucking focused guy. And he's, he's a, I, I mean, that's what I see. I mean, this guy is not a, Namby Pamby Panty Waste. He's a total, uh, totally dedicated person. It's, it's my, I don't, I can't call him a friend or know him even, I, but I, I can tell you that that's who he is. So if it seems crazy, that's interesting. That seems like the ideal to most Scientologists. And that's an interesting comment. That's what it is. Because they showed that as a, come on babies, get off your asses. Don't you want to be like Tom? And it's interesting that the rest of the world, who are not caught up in that Truman show, they see it as, well, what's wrong with this guy? It's, it it's looks crazy. very much to an outsider, as though your personality is stripped away and it's replaced, your reality, rather, stripped away, and it's replaced with Scientology's reality. That's what I saw. That's, that's what I perceived. And the other dangerous thing, I mean, I watched a little of that, 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 uh, uh, that uh, Tom Cruise interview, and I was, I'd seen it before then. You know, I, I went to that event, uh, 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 you know, that was an IAS event from uh, where he won the Freedom Medal. Uh, he, uh, uh, the fact that, you know, it's, there's some part in there where he says, you know, as a Scientologist, you just can't let that, that, that you can't, you can't pass that accident because you know you're the only person who can do something about it. And he does know that, you know? And to me, that's part of the, that's part of what I'm finding is, 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 is destructive in terms of a religion that pulls people apart. You know, whereas it seems like, well, no, he's really helping people. So you could say that. But he's also putting himself above it. He's, he's a homo novus. He's somewhat condescending. He knows he's going to heaven. Do you understand? You know, and I find that yeah, it, seems it's, it makes me, it's, it's, it's very worrisome. It, it really is. It's not, I don't think it bodes well for the, the, the planetary community when you have people sectifying into these groups that are the only way out. It's, uh, it starts to look crazy. Yeah. That's, I think, where war comes from. The, um, you mentioned having done a, a, some of those videos like Cruise. You've done a lot of uh, Scientology. Oh, shit, man. Let me tell you something. Like, the main recruiting film for the Sea Organization I spent over, well over a year doing that with uh, Up at Gold with, uh, with uh, David Miscavige. And he, I, he and I and one other guy on the final day, because we had to finish it for Sea Org Day. So I, if you ever get recruited to join the Sea Org, that'll be me talking. Unless they hear this, maybe they'll take me off. But we live in a world gone mad where pain and strife create war and human suffering. A world rife with drugs. Yeah, it starts like that. It's very serious. And it's all about the sea organization, how it was formed, and blah, blah, blah. Um, so apparently it's, uh, it's working. That's what I've heard they told me. But their stats never go down. Um, the, uh, 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 yeah, then I did, uh, the last thing I did before I left was they did this, I don't know what the hell they were calling it, but it was this big public push. They were going to put these videos 
in every org. So when new public walk in, they can learn what is CCR, what is the volunteer ministers, what is the, there's like, I must have done 10 or 12 of them, of these things. Uh, and that's my voice too. Uh, shit. Then, you, of course, you know, the technology of Scientology is uh, learning how to clear people and, uh, and bring them to higher states of spiritual freedom. And that takes a lot of learning. You have to go to course. And part of the course is uh, technical films where they tell a story. They're all written by L. Ron Hubbard, and, and uh, some were even directed by him. Um, but uh, I'm in Jesus. Shit, I don't know. Plenty. Plenty of them. So you think they'll have to purge you now? I don't know if they'll purge me. You know, there was a girl who had left, and they kept her. I mean, they redid the film finally. Uh, uh, there's some of them that uh, it'll take a while to redo. I mean, they take us so forever to make a film anyway. I mean, it's shit. I did a little half-hour film for them. It took months. It took months. My experience, personally, and what I've observed for myself is that Scientology is destructive and a ripoff, and that it's very, very dangerous for your spiritual, psychological, mental, emotional health and evolution. I think it stunts your evolution. And joining the Sea Org is the greatest commitment to that. And and it requires the greatest amount of commitment from that individual. You know, there's a different standard for a new public, for a Scientology public, an OT public, and then above that is a Sea Org member. And, and what's required and expected is far beyond. And so the degree to which you have to be completely devoted, and to me, from my, again, my perception, the more devoted you are, the more brainwashed you are. The more, the less you are yourself, the more you are just a Scientologist. You know, when I was saying earlier, you know, you, you become Jason Begay the Scientologist. Right. Jason Begay the Sea Org member would be further gone than Jason Begay the Scientologist. And I hear about some of these hardcore top execs that are now, these are heavy duties in the Sea Org, 25 years, made it to the top, leaving. I would imagine that the, to use your word, decompression for them could be in danger of the bends. I mean, that's some heavy shit to get that far in. I mean, like to me right now, I'm just getting an inkling of like, you take an idea about, you know, one of the big, big concepts in Scientology is overts, which are sins that you've committed. These are naughty things you've done. These are your peccadilloes. These are your big, big, awful secrets that you would never tell anybody. Um, these are some mistakes you made. Uh, they can all add up to overts. Uh, I look at, I'm beginning to get a concept, and maybe part of the reason why I'm doing this, is to try and make up the damage for some of the people I've influenced getting into Scientology because I feel bad. I feel uh, that was bad. That maybe somebody would look to me and say, hey, he's cool, or, oh, or, you know, he's no fool. Uh, whatever the hell they say, and uh, shit, you know, that makes me feel bad. You know, that Sea Org slideshow, shit, COB told me that it's got a whole bunch of people into the Sea Org. It's working like gangbusters. Uh, that's, so you ask me uh, if I fully, really faced that without flinching, it, it would be a, a, a tough pill to swallow. I mean, that's, that's some heavy shit. I mean, if you really, or if I really look at that, I mean, that's, that's taking people's lives away. That's enslaving somebody's mind. And when I was talking about being, you know, the levels of ethics where somebody 